Capítulo 5 There, Bent. That's it. I'm done. Fine. Is everything all right, Doc? You could say so. For someone with your medical record, everything is fine. Retirement agrees with you. Ah. My retirement was a nightmare. Was a nightmare? Don't tell me you're working again. If so, I have to advise strongly against it. Let's just say that my life makes sense again. And I owe that to Faye here. Ah, I see. And here I thought you were trying to save the world again. Retirement was the best that could happen to me. I can go fishing as much as I want to. I can read many interesting books. And I have interesting talks with my shrink every week. That sounds much better than working your guts out and spending weeks in the hospital now, doesn't it? You think? Let's talk later, or we will be late for the presentation. Right. It's your turn now, Miss Faye. Do you have any illnesses I should know about? That's none of your business. Oh, it's very much my business. The decision on whether or not you will be allowed on the rig is based on my expert opinion. Well, I'll stay here then. I didn't travel 500 years to have myself cut open. Excuse me, I don't think I understand. Faye, you can trust the doc. He knows what he's doing. Hmm. All right. But no hot coals. And no saws. You hear me? Promise. Bent, if you would wait outside, please. This might take a while, I'm afraid. Yes, Bent, just go. I'll catch up with you. I can handle this charlatan by myself. Doc, I need a stamped certificate or Barney won't let me attend the presentation. You will get it as soon as I finished examining your friend. Hey, that's too bright. <sighs> will you please refrain from squeezing your eyes shut? I have to check your pupils. No, my eyes remain shut. This is going to take a while. <laughs> if I want to be on time for the presentation, I'd better find another way. Vale, tenemos que buscar certificado médico si lo tengo aquí. Tengo aquí el certificado, a ver. Doc already completed it. Only the seal is missing. El sello, pero el sello no es este que está aquí. <laughs> pues si lo, lo pongo yo mismo. Y ya está. Dry, just like uh -huh. democracy itself. Vale, no me lo puedo llevar. Doctors and their paperwork. A stamp pad can become as important as a scalpel. Vale, necesito tinta. The mattress sags, the bed squeaks, and you are miles away from daylight. I can't stand seeing the bed anymore, even after two years have passed. A ver si en alguno de estos cajones hay algo de tinta. Hay sangre, muestra de sangre. Vicious stuff. I'm stealing blood from a doctor. Shouldn't it be the other way around? <laughs> no debería ser al revés, dice. <laughs> pues sí. Pero ¿por qué ha robado muestras de sangre? There's a name tag on the tube. Wallstrom. Mads. Ha! That's the doctor's blood. <laughs> La sangre del propio doctor. Duva painted the upper one a long time ago, but not the lower one. Nada más aquí. Archivador, vamos a ver si hay algo interesante. Ah, yes, there it is. Vince Fenson, born... Severe depression, burnout syndrome, etc., etc. We advise against continuation of employment. Hmm. Was it really only just two years ago? Se quemó, eh? Se quemó con su trabajo. Le puso tanto esfuerzo a... a la investigación que, vamos, me, física y mentalmente, se quemó. Pues aquí creo que nada más. Vamos a salir. Everything peachy, Bent? Where's your companion? She'll be a while. That's too bad. The presentation is almost over. Do you have the health certificate? Eh, ¿puedo pasar Can't sin I get in without the certificate? Well, Dr. Svensson, my responsibility is to follow the regulations, not make them. Damnation. 
Si le doy el certificado me da a decir que no está sellado. Happy now? I'll be happy as soon as <risa> Claro. You are a damned bureaucrat, Barney. Fastidious dry Vale, espérate, se me está ocurriendo. Keeps money for our research flowing. Please, Bent, it's just a stamp. Vale, vale, espera. What are our chances of finding an investor? They are good, I'd say. We've made an impression. Did you show them around the labs? No. But we had a fantastic brunch with wild salmon from the Atlantic. Hmm. Yes, I know what you're thinking. Overfishing of the seas, endangered species. The problem is just that we can't afford to point fingers today. No one wants to do business with narrow-minded greenies. But we are narrow-minded greenies. Wrong. We are greenies with wild salmon from the Atlantic. We are people you can talk to. Barney, we must not sell our ideals. Don't be naive, Bent. We need the money. Therefore, we have to curry favor with rich and arrogant business people. Everything in me resists this idea. That's the difference between you and me. You want to do research, and I do the dirty work that's getting your research financed. And sometimes there is no room for your do-gooder mentality. Yes, I know, I know. Vale. I'll be right back. Fine, but hurry. Y si sustituto la tinta de del tampón con sangre, sí va a ser drastic eso. measure, but time is short. Y ahora, a ver, certificado con el tampón. Morbid, but it worked. <laughs> a la sello de sangre. Do you have the health certificate? Sí, ahora sí. Here, Barney, that should be all. May I enter now? Okay. Name's on it. Stamp as well. All right. Time for your big comeback. Ha! Huh. Nervous? Should I be? Well, it's been two years since you last saw your son. Oh, nonsense. I'm not nervous. Hmm. Yes? Could you go ahead, please? This little do-gooder needs to visit the restroom first. <laughs> What? I just need to pee. I'm not nervous. Sure, Ben. Sure. Dr. Svensson, I'm trying to be polite here. What you just told us is ripe with trivial generalizations and esoteric hocus-pocus. We know that our oil reserves will be used up one day. We are aware that we will need to find a way to fill the hole this will rip into the energy supply. We also know that some nuts will be worried about the climate whenever you try offering them workable solutions. What we don't know is why on earth we came here. What miraculous technology are you talking about when you claim to be able to solve all this planet's problems in one stroke? Thank you for the cue, Mr. Indez. I am talking about a technology that doesn't produce emissions. One that can be replicated easily and that can be grown in every household. It is effective enough to... Um... Did I understand you correctly? Your miracle plant will grow in every consumer's garden? Eso no le gusta. Uh, yes. The magic will no be reproduction. A small installation that will fit on every balcony will provide enough energy for the household. It is an autonomous and ecological energy. The process is called nitrogenase. He means hydrogenase. Uh, the process is called hydrogenase, which means that cyanobacteria will convert light, air, and water into high-energy oxygen. The degree of efficiency of the energy output yields values around 0.08%. What? That's wrong. It's 0.8%. Do you want to give the lecture, Father? I, um... Maybe we can cut this embarrassing family drama short. The question I ask myself is... What kind of business claro. model do you have in Normal. No le gusta. If people grow algae on their balcony like chives, what do we sell them? No one here wants to give away energy for free, right? <laughs> yes. Uh, no. The consumer needs the technology to... <clears throat> to grow the algae and dissipate the hydrogen. Fuel cells for conversion must be bought and maintained. But, um... Well, that's all there is to say on the business aspect of our presentation. I suggest we take a short break. Afterwards, we can jump right in with the calculations. I would like to see this bacteria in action. Or that. After the break, we will present the blue-green algae, and then we will talk about the calculations. We will reconvene at two o'clock sharp. Thank you. That was something. And where has Duva disappeared to? The least he could say was hi. Please don't hold it against him. It's all the excitement about the presentation. 
and then his father appears out of the blue. He is a bit overwhelmed. He shouldn't blame himself. He did well. I am more worried about this Indes. Emilio Indes is a businessman. He needs to ask these kinds of questions. No, my gut tells me that he's planning something, and I won't leave this room before I've found out exactly what it is. Vale, supongo que tendremos que averiguar eso. Estos son los conferenciantes que había en en la conferencia. Indes también está aquí y este no sé quién es. Ala, me llevo una botella de agua porque sí. Barney, can I ask you something? Sure, shoot. What is Indes doing here? He was at the climate conference in Oslo. I guess that's where he heard about our research. In any case, he called me right after the conference to make an appointment. This man is one of the biggest polluters on the planet. I know, but if he's our only investor in the end... Then we will be selling our souls to the devil. Pent, I know you don't like to hear this, but I can't stress it enough. Sometimes you have to compromise if you want to do good. Who are those two at the table over there? Mr. and Mrs. Wagner, from Wagner and Wagner, in Vancouver. They came all the way from Canada? Um... Not quite. They were on vacation at a fjord when they heard about the presentation. Well, I hope they don't see this as a day trip. The last thing we need is tourists. What we need are people with money, and those two have money to burn. So, please, be nice to them. Who is the man in the white outfit? That's Saeed Janzir. He is the chief accountant of one of the biggest oil tycoons in the Middle East. Just an accountant? How much say can an accountant possibly have? His boss wanted to come himself at first, but he had to cancel on short notice. Bent, times are tough. Beggars can't be choosers. Just great. Who is the man in the yellow vest and tie? His name is Mike Zemft. He's doing an internship with us. Oh? Is he any good? Hard to tell. He just walks around most of the time, taking notes. If I didn't know better, I'd say he's doing research for a novel. <laughs> sure. Who would want to write a story about guys like us? <laughs> good point. But you know as well as I that crazy people can be found everywhere. I better get on with things. Good luck. Vale, vamos, vamos a tener que hablar con todo. So what do you think about the bacteria? I think it's taking much too long. I want to see something. Please, have a little patience. You will get to see something right after the break. Good. I don't have all day, you know. My wife and I are expected on a whale watching tour later today, and I don't want to miss that under any circumstance. You will not regret the wait, I promise. We'll see. Do you like the presentation so far? Oh yes, it's very nice. I particularly liked the helicopter ride. I, um... I was talking about the cyanobacteria. Does the technology convince you? There is supposed to be a live presentation after the break. If that is as good as the trip here, your chances are good. Do you expect a show? Yes. If you can impress us, you will get our money. Esto es, es lo que decía Barney. Esto de aquí como de vacaciones. Le interesa muy poco la las bacterias. Vale, vamos a hablar con esto todo. Presentation, Mr. Indes. Do you think this blue-green algae is a good investment? <laughs> this cabbage? No way. But I could have told you that before. If you already knew that, why are you here? I came here to dispose of a nuisance. A nuisance as small as an ant, but as persistent as a thorn in my side, and as presumptuous as a fat Norwegian who sticks his nose into things that are none of his business. Go on, don't mind me. What nuisance are you talking about? I will tell you in private. Vale, el non, un nido aire acondicionado. Vamos a hablar primero con estos dos. Bueno, espiar, a ver. I can't do that from here. They won't make a sound as long as I'm standing right next to them. Hmm. Bueno, primero vamos a hablar. Good evening. Can't you see we are having a conversation here? I can. 
That's why I thought I'd join you. You are not welcome here. Hmm. Looks like we have the same problem. Spare me your comments and get lost! Nada, vamos a tener que espiarlos de alguna manera. No sé si a través del aire acondicionado. No, por este lado no está el aire acondicionado. O sí, a ver. I can't understand a thing. The window is closed. Vale, a ver ahora. Ya no sale a espiar, ¿por qué? Ah, sale en la ventana. I don't believe it. Why do the loudest fledglings in the world have to live next to this window? As long as they are making all that ruckus, I won't understand a single damned word. Y supongo que no querrá llevarse el, el nido a otra parte. Si hago esto... Hello, you little, um, birds. What do you want? Hmm. And here I thought I was good with kids. Vale, a ver si puedo salir de la habitación porque vi algo antes que a lo mejor... ¿Qué es lo que tenía en el inventario? Una red de plástico. Es que vi algo antes que me pareció curioso. A ver si puedo salir. No. Entonces no, ¿será que quiere agua a lo mejor? A lo mejor dándole agua se calma. Are you thirsty? No. Well, you won't get anything to drink then. Pues no. Y la red de plástico. I don't have to catch them. I have to hush them. No hay mucho que hacer aquí. Snack, vale, ahí estamos. Va a ser eso lo que es comida. Un abridor, también me lo voy a llevar. A ver. Si con esto se callan. Do you like pistachios? There you are. Good. <laughs> vale, a ver. Ahora sí, espiar. Mr. Indes, please don't turn around. We are being watched. These Norwegians. Impossible. Darn. They stopped talking. Vale, por eso se podía cerrar la cortina, supongo. Hmm, it's stuck. Atascado, ¿por qué? Tapón. I only see one way to reach it. Do you want to climb on that chair? Yes, why do you ask? Well, I thought you were a gentleman. A man with distinction. Someone I and my husband would have liked to support financially. In serio? has to climb on chairs from time to time. Please, let's not argue. I said my mind. You do what you want with that. Unless I want to scare off our investors, I no puede ser. find another solution. Si te subes en la silla, no te doy mi dinero. Mira tú. A ver, ¿qué puedo hacer? There must be a... No. I prefer the direct path and choose the screen. Indicador, ¿esto qué es? Ah, un puntero. Vale. Con esto sí, ¿no? the stop won't help to unscrew it. On with it. Ha! That fits perfectly. Ahí estamos. Ahora sí. Ahora lo engancha. Stone, a bottle opener on a pointer. Ahora sí. Cerramos la cortina. Y ya no podemos espiar, ¿o sí? Ah, sí. Ahora sí podemos. 
Are you worried the algae could destroy the energy market? If a flower power energy everyone could grow on his balcony really existed, then yes, I would be worried. But this cabbage couldn't supply enough energy for a toaster. I'm just worried that these idiots in Oslo might see it differently. And what do you plan to do about it? What every good businessman would do. I'm going to buy it. I will put one specimen on my shelf, and I'll dump the rest into the ocean. That's where algae belong, after all. Bon voyage, Dr. Svensson. Arrivederci, Echo Power. And the best thing is, as long as no one else is interested in it, I will get it at a bargain price. <laughs> vale, necesitamos convencer well, a estos dos the break is over. para que no tengan dinero. So kind to return to your seats. We will commence live presentation of our technology now. As you can see, our assistants provided some algae specimen. Dr. Svensson, if you would. Of course. He means me. Let me do it. I worked on that technology for 30 years. I know how to get the maximum possible result. Um, well then, proceed. Esto va a ser otro puzzle, no? This thing was put here on purpose. The generator gets enough H2 now. The generator transforms the H2 the algae produces into electricity. The algae needs light, fresh water, and air for successful hydrogenase. Ah, lo ha, lo ha hecho para para que le dé el sol. Necesita eh, aire, luz y, y el agua. No algae needs light, fresh water and air for successful hydrogenase. Vale, entonces en teoría ya lo tenemos todo. I can see from here that that won't get me very far. ¿Qué más puedo hacer? This thing looks like a rechargeable battery. What the heck is the battery doing on the H2 hose? That can't be a coincidence. There must be an easy... Let's freshen up the algae a bit. Vale, no tenía agua. Well, the algae has light and fresh water and the gas can freely flow into the generator. And the light bulb glows, bravo. Can you really not see the genius in this performance? The only thing I see is slime in a fish tank. Dr. Svensson, since no one else seems interested in it, I would like to buy the slime. Stop, just a second. I forgot something. The presentation isn't over yet. Well, I can hardly wait. Guessing won't get me very far. ¿Qué me falta? It has enough. Tiene bastante luz, tiene agua. It has oxígeno. Right now. The generator transforms the H2 the Ah, bombilla. Is that really the maximum of what the algae can do? There must be something else I can do. Algo más que pueda hacer. That doesn't make any sense. Some things just don't belong together. One what? should be enough. No. Falta algo. Todo el mundo esperando que haga algo. ¿Qué es esto? Esto es un fallo, ¿no? Mira, cada vez que se mueve, se ilumina algo aquí. Un 
Barney pretends not to be worried, but I know him well enough to see through his act. Y no puedo irme. But doctor, now that we found out so many interesting things about your wonderful algae, you want to leave us? No, of course not. Y salir fuera tampoco, ¿no? No. Y no, tampoco se puede abrir las cortinas para que entre más luz. It has enough light now. Now Esto no funciona. En la bombilla tampoco. There must I am a scientist, not some kind Um, no. No. Um, no. Hmm, no se me ocurre qué tengo que hacer. That'd be a waste of time. I wouldn't know. Um, no. Guessing won't get me very far. Okay then. I'll put ah, the battery ah, ahí está. Ahí estamos. Y ahora. If this works, I will believe every word Faye said. Oh dear. What? What have you done? I um. I just wanted. Was that the nitrogenase you were talking about? Who would have thought that 0.8% can be that explosive? Dr. Svensson, why did you give an endless monologue on wind energy instead of showing us this right from the start? I don't know. Ask my father. He is the uncrowned expert around here. And, um... Who of you will receive our money? Bien, hemos conseguido el dinero. This stupid doctor. I don't want to get some rest, and I'm not sick either. Thanks, come thieves. Hmm? Hello? Let's go thieves. Attack! Everyone will die! Dalvin, what are you talking about? What attack? The algorithm. Crap! Something's wrong with the antenna. I thought Augie wanted to install it on the helicopter. Oh no, I hope he didn't break it. I'd better go check on it. La rompió Bent en, en el helicóptero para poder escapar de, <ríe> del baño que lo tenían encerrado. Vale, va, vamos a grabar. Y supongo que ahora habrá que arreglar la antena. What a pretty material. I wonder what it's made of. Nail polish? Mascara? A lipstick? Why do people need a paint box for their face? Ah, this file looks useful. Bien, una lima. ¿Qué tenemos? Tenemos el radiotransmisor y la lima que acabamos de coger. ¿Qué más? A transparent shower cubicle. We have more privacy in our bunker. Rincón de dormir. Wow, there's room for five phase. Unbelievable. Instead of enjoying the sun, they put the desk in the darkest corner. Oh well. At least they already get used to life in a bunker this way. Pity. A view of the oil rig. I'd have loved to see more water. Ah, puede salir por la ventana. ¿Por qué? Es que no puede salir por la puerta. Vale, lo que me pareció raro es esto. Hay una especie de polilla en la luz y yo creía que la red de plástico que tenía Bent era para atrapar la polilla. 
y la polilla se la podían botar a los pájaros y se callaban. Pero bueno, al final no era eso. No, it doesn't open, and the sign explains why. Due to renovations, 23 is closed down until further notice. No problem. I still have 24. Pues no puedo salir de aquí. Ah, no, sí, se puede subir. Vale, de esta manera. El comedor o la cocina, no sé lo que es. Comedor. Bueno, las dos cosas. What do you want? What are you making? <laughs> What? Nothing. We have apple pie and rock fisk. I'd like to have this rock fisk. Good choice. It's fresh. There you go. I'd like to have some apple pie. Just a second. Bon appetit. If it's too cold, I'll heat it in the microwave oven. Mm, thanks. <laughs> La tarta está fría. No problem. Hand it over. Ta 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 ta. Ta 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 ta. Here. Bye. Yeah. Bye. Vale. Y si metemos la lima dentro del, de la tarta de manzana y le decimos que la meta del microondas, ¿qué pasará con el microondas? The pie is still cold. Give. ¿Qué le pasará al microondas? Ta. Ta. Pum. Maybe you should stop singing. What do you know about music? Mm. It's not sending anymore. What do you want? Vale, de qué ha servido eso? Yeah. Me he quedado. <coughs> Bye. Me he quedado sin tarta de manzana y sin lima. Pero claro, está claro que había que hacer eso por alguna razón, pero no sé por qué. Pues nada, aquí nada. Sigamos. No creo que quiera entrar aquí. El médico está dentro. Locked. But ah, pues. I don't want to get back in there anyway. No quiere volver. No me extraña. Vale, mira, ya que estamos aquí, vamos a intentar arreglar la antena. Augie. Ah, just a second. Delvin, this is Faye. Can you hear me? Delvin, what was that about an attack? Attack? Augie, what have you done with the antenna? Um, I put it up. J j just like you told me to. Then why doesn't it work anymore? Maybe it's too weak? Or maybe someone is interfering with us. <laughs> But it's really not my fault, honestly. What could interfere with the signal? Um, other signals? Some waves? But what kind of waves? Other radio waves, maybe? Space waves? Brain waves? Bran what? Um, telepathy? You don't have that in the future? No? How would I know what kind of waves could be the problem? What was that about interfering waves? Look for devices that send out waves and um, turn them off. Vale, el microondas. Al menos el microondas era una de las cosas que estaban interfiriendo. No sé si la única. How can I amplify the transmission power? That's easy. You look for a big antenna and tap it. I even have a cable. Do you want it? Oh, yes. Please. Don't expect too much. It's very short and a little loose sometimes and um I'll just leave it here, okay? Thank you. Yeah. 
What are you doing? I'm reading Gamma Ray vs. Nuke Boy, The Grand Showdown. Do you want to take a peek? It only has pictures. But that's the trick, you see. Text and pictures in perfect symbiosis. It's a total blast. It's called a comic. Oh, we have comics at home, too. We use them to teach the children how to survive in case a nuclear reactor explodes. They develop superpowers and beat up the dead guys? Hmm, not quite. A pity. Have you seen Bent? I thought he was at the presentation. With you? One of your medicine men kept me, and now they won't let me in. I hope everything is going well. Oh, I'm sure Doc Svensson has everything well in hand. They're probably partying right now and throwing confetti on him. Um, yes. Probably. Oh, dear. Did you put up the time radio antenna all by yourself? Yeah, no biggie. I've wanted to see this baby in action for a while now. I hope I didn't make any mistakes. It went real fast until the cubes... Really, man? Who came up with that crap? Too true. <laughs> the cubes are horrible. Es verdad. Los oh, cubos fueron yeah. lo peor. No problem. How could I amplify the transmission power again? Connect your antenna to a bigger one. That's all the advice I can give you. Vale, condensar la antena a una más grande. Estas antenas pueden ser... Hello? Still no reception. Aquí está el cable. Y lo conectamos a esta antena a lo mejor, vamos a ver. The cable is much too short to connect the two antennas. Demasiado corto. Hello. Hey Lou. Uf. Ah, hay gente dentro. Oh, hey ho, what can I do for you? Are you a radio operator? Yep. Wait, you came here with Ben Svensson, didn't you? Yes. Why? Are you related or something? Is he your uncle? Mm, why do you ask? Oh, just, you know. Are you transmitting right now? Why do you ask? Could you stop doing that for a moment? You are interfering with my signal. You and Ben, you are colleagues, right? No. Oh, you're not? I just thought, well, because you're traveling together. Would you please answer my question? Sure. What was it again? <laughs> How did you two meet? Please stop transmitting. You are interfering with my signal. Hey, it was just a harmless question. I have to contact a friend, but your signal interferes with mine. So would you please stop transmitting? I'm afraid I can't do that. I'm talking to Lou from the other oil rig. We have some important things to discuss. For how much longer? Until noon break. When will the noon break begin? It just has. But Lou and I lost track of time, and we still have so much to talk about. I can't just up and leave. Svensson and you. You aren't <laughs> colleagues, and you aren't related. Why don't you take your break? Oh, the cafeteria is quite a ways, and I'm too lazy to go there. But no biggie. That way I have more time for my chat with Lou. I brought you something to eat. Oh, really? Rackfisk. Enjoy. Whoa, my favorite. Hey, Lou, gotta go. Lunch is here. You can Bye. tell me later. I'm starving here. Later. Yum. Fantastic. He seems to have forgotten about me. Well, even better. Pues ya dejado de transmitir. Otra cosa menos que interfiere con nuestra señal. Pero necesitamos amplificarla. Necesitamos que el cable pueda llegar hasta esta antena. Vamos a salir por la ventana. A ver, bueno, vamos a seguir por aquí primero. Otro portero. Hmm, excuse me. You may not enter. Why not? The presentation is for investors and oil rig staff only. Why don't you grab a bite to eat at the cafeteria? I will tell Dr. Svensson where to find you. I'd rather look around a bit. Thanks. As you like. No es nada. <laughs> La polilla esta no es nada realmente. It's locked. Bien, volvamos a la habitación y salgamos por la ventana. 
A ver si encuentro un trozo de cable o algo así. Tiene que haber algo aquí, porque si no, no tiene sentido salir por la ventana. Pues no. Lo único que hay aquí... Aparte de las gaviotas que no se, no, no sirven para nada, es este que está aquí arriba. He's having a smoke on the bridge. Seguramente será algo con este tío, con el doctor este. Es lo único que hay aquí. Vale, y en el comedor yo creo que ya no hay nada más que hacer. It's not sending anymore. Vale, ¿dónde encontrar un cable? Bueno, si sí es eso lo que tengo que encontrar, claro. A lo mejor es algo más sencillo como que... Entra, no puedo entrar en el helicóptero. Mira, bandilla superior. ¿Podré conectarlo aquí? Ah, vale. Me hará falta otro trozo de cable de aquí a aquí. Paul, a ver. Otro cable. Este cable puede ir de la barandilla inferior. Hasta la antena. Ahora sí. It has to work now. Attention, attention, radio operator Faye speaking. Delvin, can you hear me? Please, don't desert me now. Please. Please, please. Hello, Faye. Sa? Sadi? Mm, there. I, um, am glad our presentation could convince you. I have to admit that the results surprised me a little as well. Then it was a wonderful surprise for all of us. I can assure you, Doctor, that you were utterly convincing. Please, dear. We must not hasten our decision. Not until we've tested the bacteria ourselves. I therefore propose that the Doctor will provide us with a sample of his wonderful algae as soon as possible. And if everything is above board, as I'm sure it will be, Independent scientists will have no problem reconstructing the result we saw here earlier. And when they do, we will support you. Or, is there a problem? Let me through! I must talk to Ben Svensson! It seems the number of your fans increases by the minute, my dear doctor. I have to talk to him! Please! Excuse me. In here, quickly. Calm down. Tell me, how did it go? What? The algae. Are the investors convinced? Ha! They are thrilled. Phew. Good. Yes, one problem less. But now to you. You are completely out of breath. What happened? I got a call from Delvin. And? The connection was terrible. But I think he wanted to warn us. Someone plans to attack the oil rig. Are you sure? Not completely, but it sounded like that. Did he tell you anything else? Mm, no, that was all. 
saboteadores y ha sido el, el de Index. Did you get any other messages? Why? From whom? From Salvador? Oh, no, I didn't. I only heard from Delvin, and as I said, it was a short message. How was your physical examination? Tedious. But everything's all right. Don't worry about me, I'm fine. That's good to know. You aren't keeping any secrets from me, are you? No. Why? Oh, never mind. Must be being close to this Indes guy. I'm seeing conspiracies everywhere. Well, you can never know. <laughs> right. We have another problem, though, I'm afraid. Someone tried to sabotage the presentation. What? Why would somebody do that? I have no idea. But they did everything to prevent the generator from working properly during the presentation. The algae was much weaker than usual. And yet the investors were convinced? Hmm, yes. It wasn't that much of a problem. I just had someone fetch a better specimen. Um... I think you should try and find out more about this attack while I investigate the algae incident. Okay. Sounds sensible. You are really not keeping something from me? Nah. You? No. Well then, see you later. Then go! Sadi, come in please. Ben says the investors are convinced. You must have been wrong. Polla de la estación MCL. Welcome back, Bent. Nice show. Really, I hope you didn't raise expectations you can't measure up to. Hello, Duva. Vale, tenemos que seguir investigando las algas para mejorarlo. A ver. There's nothing in there. No lost files. Nothing. Only what's been there already on first sight. The values of the blue-green algae decreased over the past few months. But why? Bent, would you please close the door to our private quarters? I don't think you have any business in here. Of course I have business in here. It was my bedroom once. Right. But all your belongings were removed after you'd left. I oversaw that myself. And now, close the door, please, or I'll really make a fuss. Vale, no me deja entrar. Cuchillo. <laughs> Espero que no lo, use, no lo use contra el hijo. A ver, ¿qué tenemos? Manopla de horno. Bien. Aquí hay algo atado. Vale, aparte de la puerta... Bueno, podemos ir abajo o no. Sí, podemos bajar. Vamos a mirar primero todo esto, lavadora. A few lab coats and two pairs of jeans, nothing of interest. Antes de bajar voy a intentar abrir la puerta y tendría que hablar. The key for the door, I don't think I would find anything useful behind it. Vale, me está diciendo que da igual que abra la puerta o no. My old do-it-yourself antenna. Who would have thought that thing still existed? It's a bit loose. Why doesn't anybody see to it the thing doesn't fall to pieces? There. It's a bit. Why doesn't any there, much better. Vale, vamos a intentar. I don't think that. No, no la va a desmontar. Um. No. Vamos a hablar. Aquí, vamos a hablar con Duff. I'm sorry, I didn't want to show you up. If you're looking for Lissa, she's in the office lab. I'm sure you can find the way on your own. 
The algae you presented was bottom of the barrel. I think I deserve an explanation. You are wrong. The sample was from one of our most powerful cultures. I don't believe you. When I was still here, the algae could do much better than that. I think you are fooling yourself. The algae really wasn't that much stronger in the past. But it was stronger, and it would have convinced the investors without any effort on my part. If you say so. Again, what's wrong with the algae? Let's see. No one is interested in it. We can't find a selling market. Research is insanely expensive, and no one wants to pay for it anymore. But we do have a potential investor now. Only as long as your scam is not exposed. It won't be exposed if you tell me where the real algae is. The real algae. I see. I have no idea what you're talking about. Uf, ¿qué pasa con el hijo? No sé si el hijo le está mintiendo. ¿O es que realmente no, no sabe cómo crear las algas más potentes? Are you still angry with me? Of course I am. If you hadn't cared more about the planet than about your own family, we might still be one. Maida never told me that she was ill. How could she? You were never there. You didn't see the nosebleeds when they began. You didn't catch her when she fainted. You didn't even take her to the hospital when it was already too late. If she'd only told me. But she didn't. Because she thought you'd notice it someday. Well, no such luck. Duva, I'm sorry. Good to know. Anything else? So, how's life as the head of research on Atlas 11? How do you think it is? It makes me sick. I still can't believe that I wanted to be like you once. You have a lot of responsibility now. The future of the world depends on you and your research. The future of the world is not my future. I don't want to end up like you, Father. I want to have a life, a family, but I'm stuck here instead. Do you really hate your life this much? Well, c'est la vie. That's how it is. I just want to know what happened to my algae. Si That's exactly the problem. It's not your algae anymore. Your son is responsible for your life's work now. It doesn't matter if anybody here likes it or not. You're out of the picture. See you later. Vale, tenemos que saber qué pasa con esas algas. The pump regulates the air pressure in the lab, and it works best if left alone. Just like I thought, locked. Esta sí está abierta, bien. Oficina. Drop by to see if everything is well. Uh-huh. Uh-huh, what? Isn't an old retiree allowed to visit his former colleagues? Of course he is. But I know you well enough to know that this is not the only reason. But maybe you'll prove me wrong. What happened to the algae? What are you talking about? I saw the presentation for the investors. The algae you presented was terribly weak. Oh, Ben, you are exaggerating. Do you have any idea how embarrassed I was? I can understand how you feel, but... <sighs> please stay out of this. But... Trust me, it's better this way. You say it's not my responsibility anymore. Do you know how you sound? No, Ben. How do I sound? Like my shrink. <laughs> How fitting. Dr. Lissa Henricks, official shrink for the Svensson family. Yeah, that has a ring of truth to it. It's true, I'm not responsible for the research anymore, but I helped to build this whole project. I deserve an answer. If you were at the presentation, you already know the answer. We don't have any money left. That means no new instruments, no repairs, no qualified experts. And if the research gets worse, we get fewer investors. A vicious circle. 
What does money have to do with the decrease in algae power? We work under a lot of pressure and under horrible conditions. In a situation like that, mistakes happen, and the algae suffers from it. Lissa, what's going on here? You are keeping something from me. Bent, please. We've already discussed this. The current situation is no one's fault. We've just fallen on hard times. I'll find out what's going on. Please, don't. I'm just worried about you. Me parece que me están mintiendo todo. Something else. I no sé por qué, pero están mintiendo. Duva hates me. I know. He still blames you for Meta's death. And he's right. She was sick, Bent, and she didn't tell you. Because she knew I would never give up my work for her. Quite the opposite. You would have given up everything for her, and she didn't want to be responsible for that. The tendency for self-sacrifice must be a family trait. How is Duva? Ask him yourself. Whenever I try to talk to him. All he does is rant. Oh, don't listen to that. I think he's much better than he wants people to know. He hates life on the oil rig. If he really hated it, he would be long gone. Don't worry. He's doing okay. I can see you are busy. Do you want to continue our conversation later? The only important thing is that we do continue it. Why don't we meet in the kitchen later and cook together? In about two hours when my shift ends? Sure. Great idea. Good. I'm looking forward to it. Vale, vamos a averiguar qué le pasa a la salga. Still can't make a continental call. Who do you want to call? You'll see. No sé por qué hay que telefonear a algún sitio, pero bueno, vamos a ver. It's not me. It's Bent. Oh, Dr. Svensson. Good to hear you. What can I do for you? Is there a message for me? Nope. Nothing. Do you expect a call? No, I just thought people had heard of my return. Oh, trust me. They did. And partly because of me. I thought as much. Call the office lab if something comes in. Sure. Anything else? I want you to page someone. Who? No, yo creo que esto I'll lo estoy haciendo Alrighty. al azar y esto no es así. Tengo que saber a quién llamar antes. The microscope was my last acquisition before I had to hand over clinical research management to Duva. These smells bring back some great memories. Hmm, what's this? One of my old algae samples. Mm. What's it doing here? Pero tienen que estar muertas ya, ¿no? Sin, I don't see the luz. microscope to see that it's completely dried out. Está seca. A ver, aquí hay agua. Some things just don't belong together. 
No, así no. Necesito algún contenedor para echar el agua. First, I need a clue as to what I'm looking for. It's empty already. Samples that have to be tested go in here. Vale. Puedo meter... The Petri dish holds a dead, dried up alga. I don't need a mass spectral analysis to know what happened. Pues nada. It's barely legible, but there's something written in my hand. D54H. Mm, vale. D54. That's the Delta algae, our most powerful culture. I just don't understand why Duva didn't present it earlier today. A ver si la encontramos aquí en la nevera. D54H. Where is the Delta algae? Nothing. That's weird. No tienen. Preguntémosle a Lisa a ver si sabe... Lisa? Yes. A ver si sabe dónde está about the la versión algae. Delta. No. Let's talk about something else. I'd prefer that, yes. So long. See you later, Bent. Y si se la damos la muestra... I found a dried out sample in its pocket. Please, Bent, put it away before someone gets hurt. A lo mejor tengo que hablar con el hijo para preguntarle dónde está. A ver, eh, oficina. Doctor Svensson. Speaking. I want you to page someone. Who? Page my son. And what do you want me to tell him? Eh, dile que venga a la oficina. Tell him to come to the office lab. All right. Why do you page him when he's in the next room? Dr. Svensson? Hmm? He said he's on his noon break and he sees no reason to interrupt it. But you might be glad to hear that he's in the room next door. Why don't you just go over to him? I understood. Thank you. See? I'm not alone with my opinion. Yes. Right. I know. Can I do anything else for you? That's nonsense. Just leave it. Just call me if you change your mind. Later. Dice que está en la habitación de al lado. Bueno, está arriba. No está tan al lado, venga. Duva, I... What? No. See you later. ¿Por qué no le preguntas sobre la muestra Guess más potente? What I found in my old lab coat. The dried out Delta algae? Yes. How did you know? Because you worked yourself almost to death on it. You were always carrying samples around until the day they carried you out on a litter. I have to find out what happened to the algae first. Vale. No me va a dejar salir. No creo... Ah, espera, ¿y si meto la bata en la lavadora? The machine says that Duva is responsible for the laundry today. My name isn't mentioned anywhere. Some things just don't... <laughs> no. <laughs> I think two years in a dis... Manopla de horno, cuchillo, indicador.
Again. What a mess. Huh. Looks like this will take longer than I thought. Damn it. I searched the whole cabinet three times and still no sign of D-54H. So where the devil is it? Lo están escondiendo. Algo está pasando. Y este lo sabe. Y por qué está encendido ahora? La lavadora está encendida. The usual: white lab coats, blue jeans, and golden towels. Who do those belong to? I should pump the water out first. Water pumped out. Ready to unload. Is that towel really golden? How tacky. Hotel La Comte du Roy, Barcelona. Five stars. Good grief. How did this get here? No one here can afford to stay at a five-star hotel. ¿De quién es esto? Golden towel. Good grief. No one here. Smells freshly laundered, which is also why it's still dripping wet. Some things just no. A ver, vamos a preguntarle al hijo a ver si sabe dónde está el informe. Duva, I what? El informe del alga delta. On the delta algae. It should be in the cabinet. If it isn't, I have no idea. Mentira. And to the delta algae itself. I guess that's in the file. Too bad it's gone missing. I don't understand. Where did you get the money for such an expensive hotel? That's none of your damn business. I thought you didn't have any money. And yet, you are traveling to a five-star hotel in Barcelona? That's my private life, do you hear me? It's no concern of yours. So why don't you get lost and never come back? Este tío le ha vendido a... al de Lindes. Alguien... esto se, se lo ha vendido a alguien. La investigación. Lisa? Yes? Have you seen the Delta Algae file? <sighs> what? You haven't been here for 10 minutes and already you're going through the paperwork. Do you have the file or not? No, and I suggest you stop searching for it. Just trust me. It's for your own good. No, about no, no, no. Aquí pasa algo. Let's talk about something else. I'd prefer that, yes. So long. See you later, Bent. A ver si nos deja salir ahora. I have to find out. No. No nos deja salir. I told you. Bugger off. Calm down. I just want to ask you a question. Ask. And then you'd better spend the rest of your days somewhere else. I can't stand it when someone noses around in my personal life. See you later. Vale, estará dentro de la habitación que no me que no me ha dejado entrar. Vamos a probar otra vez a abrirla. Mientras esté el hijo aquí, no creo que me deje abrir la puerta. This door will remain closed. Vale, y si le enseñamos a Lisa la toalla, le decimos a ver qué ha pasado aquí. What's this towel doing here? 
It belongs to Duva. He really stayed at a five-star hotel? No normal person can afford that. Bent? Hmm? If you want to know something about your son, ask him yourself. And if he doesn't tell me anything? Then maybe it's none of your business. Sigue diciendo que no, que no me meta. ¿Y ahora qué? Eh, Peaceful Gamer, ¿qué tal? que su mujer está esperando a que le llame. His wife is waiting for him to call back. I'll tell him. Hear you later. His wife? Do you think he would have told you if he'd gotten married? Vale. Your son isn't married, Dr. <laughs> ¿Qué fallo? No, I know. Is there anything else you want? Sí, sí, eh, co otra cosa, eh, la tarjeta de crédito. Credit card in a hotel. Una de esas tiene que ser. And the hotel wants to know where to send it to. On it. Don't you think you're being childish, making fake calls to your own son and all that? Tell the hotel I'd use traveler's checks, goddammit. Tampoco. Fine, I'll relay the message. Was that all? No, venga, una de estas tiene que ser. His girlfriend is calling. Sir, yes, sir. Are you trying to find out more about his private life? Well, he doesn't tell me anything. Oh, dear. Your son just laughed and hung up. Fine, <laughs> thanks. Vale, no, no va a funcionar ninguna. Just tell him to get there. No, that will sound implausible. Fine, then tell him... Nada. Oh, don't tell him anything. So you don't want me to page him? No, I'll get back to you later. Okay, bye. Pero tenemos que hacer que se vaya de la habitación de alguna manera. Vamos a ver. Barney speaking. It's me, Bent. Ah, <laughs> perfect timing, old warhorse. I wanted to know how long you're going to stay with us. I don't know yet. Uh, no problem. But notify me on time so I can organize transport and accommodation on land. You just tell me where you want to go, and it will be done. Thanks, Barney. Eh. About my return no sé, trip. tendré que gastar todo, todas las preguntas, todas las opciones. I want you to make an appointment for us at Energy Oslo. For what day and reason? For tomorrow, and tell them we want to show them Svensson's blue-green algae. Wait a second. Okay, is that all? Please make a reservation el hotel, at a hotel for el hotel de Barcelona. A ver. Conference Faye mentioned. I can recommend the Grand Welcome Inn in downtown Oslo, or the Garden City Hotel near the Botanical Garden. En Barcelona. Please a ver. Make a reservation at the Hotel Le Comte du Roy in Barcelona. Are you sure about that? Of course. I have a secret weakness for decadent five-star hotels. That's not what I meant. The Du Roy is a very special hotel. Is it a brothel? <laughs> no. It specializes in male guests, but it's not a brothel. Ah, el hijo de gay. Most workers on this rig won't like it there. But Duva liked it there. I don't want to get involved in this. Have Duva explain it to you, or find out for yourself. Can I help you with anything else? Vale. 
take so long. Okay. See you later. A ver si podemos otra vez hablar. Hey ho, what can I do for you? A ver, eh, quiero que llames a alguien, al hijo. Page my son. And what do you want me to tell him? Tell him he should come to the radio room. His friend called. Ha llamado su amigo. Right. Del hotel. How did you find out Duva is gay? Oh, Ben, don't look at me like that. You two can't even agree on the weather. Why would he tell you about his sexual orientation? But I would have been fine with it. Do I really know nothing about my own son? Oh, he's on his way. Vale, ya está, ya se ha ido. Tell him when he gets here. Tell him his father misses him. Oh, okay. I hope he won't get angry. Oh, but he will. Sí, se va a cabrear. Bueno, ahora, se ha ido... Y podemos entrar en la habitación que no quería que entráramos por alguna razón. Seguramente aquí es donde estará el informe Delta. I don't like to do this, but I don't have a choice. Aha, if that isn't the lost file. Hmm, that's strange. The data collection ended on February 20th this year. They either recorded later value somewhere else or they abandoned research on the D45H project. That doesn't make any sense though. Why would they discard our best algae? A ver la cama de Lisa, ya que estoy aquí. The only thing this got me is a bad conscience. No tenía nada. Vale, voy a hablar con Lisa. Bueno, primero voy a mirar, voy a leer el proyecto, a ver. Esto es lo mismo. ¿Qué pasó ese día? 20 de febrero. Vamos a darle el, el fichero a Lisa. Don't want to know. Two years ago, I almost worked myself to death on the Delta algae culture. Of course I want to know. There was an accident. An accident? Yes. A fire broke out in the algae station. It destroyed the whole culture. What about the samples? You did take samples before it happened, didn't you? No, there was a mistake. I thought Duva was responsible for taking samples that day, and he thought I was. It was a stupid misunderstanding. A misunderstanding. Vale, pero tenemos la salga seca. Hmm. I don't want to imply anything, but something's wrong here. And I won't rest until I know exactly what it is. Why don't you listen to me? It was an accident. <sighs> tenemos las algas secas, así que de ahí vamos a poder sacar la, eh, la versión Delta. Vale, habitáculos. Sadi, come in, please. Ben says the investors are convinced. You must have been wrong. <coughs> no, Faye. I wasn't wrong. The algae is too weak. It won't save the world. But it even convinced the investors. You didn't see what I saw, Faye. I can't believe in it anymore. <coughs> We made a really big mistake. What happened, Sadi? I hardly recognize you. What do you think happened? I'm stuck in a time I don't understand. My friends are dead. And I'm alone. <coughs> I have a lot of time to think. Why are you coughing so much? No idea. It's been getting worse for days now. But it's okay. Everybody dies sooner or later. Oh, God, don't say something like that. Get your medikit and do a scan. Maybe you just have a cold. Maybe. What do you mean? We made a mistake? I'm talking about the Phoenix Plan. But the Phoenix Plan is great. We're saving the world from doom. Delvin says you killed a survivor in San Francisco. That... that was Salvador. And you stormed a building in Oslo. You took hostages. 
I had to. I had to make them listen to us. Wherever we go, Faye, we bring suffering. Or was there anything you achieved without using violence? I convinced Vent to help me. Hmm. Why do you doubt our algae? Because it isn't our algae. I found some articles in an archive. Norwegian algae research discontinued. Millions spent on useless research. Bent Svensson's algae was so weak even scientists didn't believe in it anymore. But I don't understand. Ben Svensson. THE Svensson. I even met Barney. And the doctor. They all believe in Bent and his research. Accept it, Faye. Bent Svensson is a failure. Don't get his hopes up. That's not making any sense. You must be wrong. Faye, please. You must listen to me. <coughs> Since we went on this mission, we've only brought death to the people. It's like a curse. Everybody dies. <coughs> Stop believing in the algae and get away from the rig, or Bent Svensson will d die. Saudi, please. If you are my friend, you have to trust me. The algae is powerful enough, and Bent Svensson is our savior. And he will die too. Saudi? Saudi? Saudi! Oh no! What's wrong now? Vale, vamos a intentar hablar con Ben. Ah, mira, ya, ya no está aquí el, el portero. Oh no! The antenna cable got loose! Ah, fresh sea air. Isn't it wonderful? You get used to it after a while. Let me tell you, enjoy it while you still can. As of tomorrow, you'll be a long way from here, a made man. In Rio or New York, personally, I prefer Casablanca. I don't care, as long as I get away from here. I'm sick of risking my life for the Svensson every day. Last week, a machine almost ripped my arm out. <laughs> These things happen, but today, you are going to hurt the oil rig right back. Okay, one more time, so you won't forget. The algae must be completely destroyed or my client won't pay. Do you really want to talk about this out here in the open? No, of course not. I just have to get rid of something first. Oh my god, what are these people planning? Vale, los, los saboteadores de lo que me estaban advirtiendo antes están aquí. Son esos dos. A uno no le hemos visto. Y luego averiguaremos quién es. The watchdog is gone, but now the door is locked. Today's not my day. Vale, pero esta puerta antes no estaba abierta. Y esta tampoco. That's an instruction for the radio operator. A certain Irik Harkonnen is to report to the storage depot immediately. The different stations on the oil rig are assigned different keys. Number one, lab. Number two, archive, and so on. <clears throat> ¿Para qué? Polígrafo. I could write another name on it, but which one? I don't know anybody here. Vale, es para eso. The different stations on number one, Lab, number two, archive, and so on. Vale, eh, tenemos que averiguar quién queremos que vaya a donde quiera que sea. That's an instruction for the radio. A certain Irik Harkonnen is to report to the storage depot. Sí. 
Tenemos que saber a quién mandar al... That's an, a certain Irish... Al almacén. A ver, aquí hay alguien ahora. Algo diferente. No, todo sigue igual. Ajá. I thought I sent you to your cabin. You were supposed to get some rest. I know. But why? Why? You threw up blood during the physical examination. That's why. You are ill, and you need rest immediately. I'm not sick. I'm healthy as a horse. You are not. You threw up blood, and that's never a good sign. Something is wrong with your internal organs. Before my suspicion is validated, I prescribe bed rest. Or we can assume that I'm perfectly fine. <sighs> Do I look ill? No, but you are. Do you really want to break down rather than listen to me now? Break down? Without treatment, you might even die. What? When? I don't know, yet you still appear to be fit. But like I said, appearances can be deceiving. Then I must hold out for a little bit longer. If I really were ill, what could you do about it? Here? Nothing. You'd have to go to a hospital for a thorough examination. But I don't have time for that. You won't have time for anything anymore if you don't take care of it soon. Hmm. Do you know who you just sounded like? No. Who? You must take care of it immediately or you won't have a future anymore. You sounded just like me. Then do yourself a favor and listen to yourself this once. I'm afraid I can't do that. Then there's nothing more I can do for you. I have to take care of some very important business. May I? I'm sorry, but that would be irresponsible of me. You are ill. You need rest. But it's my business where I'm going. Not as long as I'm your attending doctor. What's on the other side of the bridge? The rest of the oil rig, the workers area, and the research station. Places where sick people have no business going. Vale, va a ser al doctor al que tenemos que enviar. Well... I'll leave then. I'm just worried about your health. Vale, tenemos que enviar al doctor. Lo va a escribir. I could write another name on it, but which one? I don't know anybody here. Por eso pone solo doctor. Tenemos que averiguar su nombre. Aquí podemos averiguar el nombre eh, en alguna parte de por aquí. Locked. But I don't want to get back in there anyway. What do you want? Nada. El... Yeah. <coughs> Quizá el... este me decía el nombre o algo, pero no. Para eso servirá salir por la ventana. He's having a smoke on the bridge. No, aquí no hace nada. Al menos no por ahora. Y aquí no hay nada más. Bueno, si abro la puerta. Yes. Why are you asking all these questions about me and Bent? Why? I'm just curious. That ain't a crime now, is it? Not much else going on on this rig anyway. I have to go. See you later. Nada, el operador de radio no me dice nada. Yogi, a ver si podemos des descubrir algo. Hello, Augie. Oh, hey, how's it going? What can I do for you, Faye? Nada, See tampoco. You later. Yep, yep.
No sé qué hacer. Aquí... Ah, espera, espera, espera. Aquí está el trozo de papel que lanzó el... El tipo aquel antes. A ver. No va a llegar. Ah, se le fue. Por eso hay que salir por la ventana. Ahora sí. It's always the same. I can't be that clumsy. Ahora sí, vamos a ver. Yikes. It's a used tissue. Kellerman and partner, attorneys. You are supposed to rest. Instead, you're climbing up and down the facade. Once and for all, I'm fine. Bah, stubborn as a mule. Excuse me? I said do whatever you want. Take a look around the oil rig. Climb pipes, jump out of windows. But don't come running to me if you start getting worse. Not a chance. That's settled then. Yuck. A used hanky made of cloth. I hope I won't need it. Then I could throw it away again soon. I could write another name on it, but which one? Ah. Uh, no. I don't have to take any notes. So far, I've been pretty good at memorizing things. Yuck. I hope I won't need it. ¿Para qué me servirá el pañuelo? No sé, volvamos a hablar con el doctor otra vez. Ah, se ha ido. If I want to find the saboteur, I have to get to the workers area. I hope there are signs showing the way. Sala de máquinas. Vale, vamos a ver qué tenemos aquí. Soldador. Reproductor de música. Y parece que ya está. Bueno, puedo ir arriba. Aquí no hay nadie. Tenemos una caja de herramientas. Yay, it's empty. Looks like the ¿Qué más tenemos por aquí? El capataz está ahí. Locked. Cerrada. Locked. También. Locked. Locked. Vale. Nada, hablar con el capataz, lo único que, que podemos hacer aquí. I have an important question about a worker. Ask. Someone's planned an attack on the oil rig, and one of the workers is going to carry it out. How do you know that? I was at the heliport when I overheard a conversation. Some bald guy gave instructions to a worker. Hmm. Hmm? Just a sec, I'm thinking. Did the worker wear an eye patch? No lo sé. I don't know. Aha! Uh -huh. You just made up that story. You want me to evacuate the oil rig so you can take over here. No! That's not true! <laughs> I'm just kidding. You have to bring me evidence before I believe your story. Please, I have to know where the suspect is working right now. You don't even know who your suspect is. Bring me evidence first, then I'm going to help you. Why doesn't the man in the machine room work? Don't let appearances mislead you. Magnus is one of my best welders. He's just a bit difficult when he has to work alone. But his colleague had the night shift today, so he's packed up already and has gone to the cafeteria to grab a bite to eat. The welder doesn't like to work alone? Sometimes he is a mystery to me, too. Why don't you go to the cafeteria and ask his colleague about it? Maybe he knows the secret. Vale, tenemos que ir a la cafeteria, entonces. I'll be back later. Pero bueno, don't primero, worry. I'll be right here. Debería haber hablado antes con el soldador. Vamos a hablar con el primero y luego tenemos que ir a la cafetería para hablar con, con su compañero.
The presentation takes place in the residential area. Excuse me? The presentation. You are one of the investors, aren't you? Um, no. The presentation has been over for a while now. Really? Man, time flies. What are you doing? Working. And what? I'm a welder. I weld. I don't see you welding anything. Okay. Yeah, not right now. But that doesn't mean I'm lazy. Quite the opposite. I'm a very eager worker. Passion is the fertile soil on which good work grows. Uh, right now, I'm just not very passionate. Why aren't you passionate about your work right now? It's got a lot to do with atmosphere and a productive work environment. If I want to create something, I must be filled with inspiration. I have to feel the energies around me, the passion of creation. And you don't feel that right now? No. Right now, I'm feeling something completely different. I feel melancholy. Streets on a rainy day. Bueno, con esa música no me extraña. Light. Oh dear. That doesn't sound positive. Well, that's life. When do you think you will be passionate about work again? What do you mean, when? It's not something you can plan for or force. You have to wait until the environment feels right, the climate, the creative spirit in the room. And where does that feeling come from? If I knew that, I wouldn't just be standing around. Were you near the heliport earlier? God, oh, damnation. What's wrong? For a brief moment, I had the urge to work, but now it's gone. <laughs> you. Are you unsettled by my questions? No, not at all. I've been here the whole day. The foreman can confirm that. He made the work schedule. Hmm. Not fun. Yeah, all in good time. El horario de trabajo hemos visto antes. No, pero no se puede, no se puede mirar. Creía que esto era el horario de trabajo y a lo mejor podíamos descubrir quién es el saboteador. Pero no. Bueno, vamos a la al comedor a ver si está el compañero de este por aquí mira tiene que estar aquí porque está su chaqueta someone sewed on a piece of cloth with a name on it Apollo Langlo I, me va a pillar get away from my jacket <laughs> me pilló sorry Vale, será este al que tenemos que mandar. Sí, seguramente será este. Vamos a hablar con el primero. Hello. Hi. I'm looking for a bald man. Do you know him? A one of the suits? I think so. Don't want anything to do with them types. So you don't have anything to do with the investors? You haven't even talked to them? About what? Weather? Bad enough they decide who works and who don't. I'm not going to play happy people and suck up to them. They better just give us the money and bug it off. Okay, that's all I wanted to know. Do you know the welder in the engine room? Magnus? Sure, he's a wimp, but works like a robot. Really? Yeah, I know. The others are complaining all the time, too. Can't work with Magnus. Damned freak. Me? I just say you only gotta know how to take him. You can put dynamite in his ears. He wouldn't care. And why is that? I know how to party. <laughs> Don't you have to work today? Been working all night. Enough's enough. Just hoping that no Einstein will get no idea to make me do his shift. He won't see tomorrow. I tell you, when I get mad, I'm mad like hell. Is that a threat? No, it's a law of physics. How do you get the welder to work? By party. That stops him brooding. Are you telling male jokes? That too. And me locker is full of party hits. There's some for everyone, even Magnus. Could you give me the key to your locker? Lady, me locker's no one's business but mine. You can beg as you want. You'll not get it. Could you give me the key to your locker? Lady, you no. can... Bye. Ciao. What do you want? Bye. Yeah. <coughs> Bye. A ver, vamos a mirar el nombre. Someone sewed on a piece of Apollo Langlo. A ver. I don't have to take any so far. No. I'll strike out Ira Harkonnen and put in the name of Apollo Exacto, Langlo ahí instead. I wonder if that will work. Vale, tenemos que enviar a este 
no sé si es solo por sacarlo de del comedor o es que tenemos que enviarlo a un sitio en concreto. The different state number one lab. I just have to put the facsimile in the machine, hit the key for the radio room, and that's it. Apollo Langlo, please proceed to the storage depot. I repeat, Apollo Langlo, please proceed to the storage depot immediately. I think I have what I wanted. Vale, el fax. No me puedo llevar el, el papel. Así que ya no me sirve de nada. Eh, ¿Habrá dejado aquí la chaqueta? Sí. Ahora sí que no me puede... Puedo rebuscar esta... La llave. Perfecto. Ya tengo la llave. Ahora tengo que volver... Hasta... Aquí. Y una de estas será su taquilla. Pues esa. Already open. The back wall is plastered with photos. Photos I don't want to take a closer look at, but this tape looks interesting. Cinta. A ver, está ahí. Cinta. Vale, esta cinta irá el, en el cassette que tiene el soldador. No creo que se puedan abrir más, más taquillas, ¿no? Solo se puede abrir una. Doesn't fit. No, es la primera la taquilla. Doesn't fit. Doesn't fit. Claro. Ahora, esta cinta... Cambiará de música y le entrarán ganas de trabajar al soldador. Que por cierto, no tengo ni idea de por qué tenemos que hacerlo trabajar. ¿Para qué? Will that help you to work? Put the tape in the ghetto blaster, will you? Eureka, that's it. Yeah. Hello. He doesn't hear me. Ah, está concentrado. Eh, no sé de qué sirve que se ponga a trabajar. La verdad es que no tengo ni idea. Vamos a volver a hablar con el con el capataz. It's me again. I can see that. I'll be ah. back later. Don't worry. Hey, aquí hay algo. Cámara de filtrado. Something is swimming in that chamber, but I can't make out what it is. Something is, but I can't. Certainly not. No. El pañuelo That's tampoco. No y las llaves yeah. tampoco. No. Nada, y no se puede abrir la cámara. Solo se puede mirar. ¿Y ahora qué? A no ser que haya cambiado algo. En algún sitio que haya cambiado, no sé, que hay... No, no hay nadie aquí. Nadie nuevo.
nada. Lo único es esto, la cámara de filtrado, que no sé lo que habrá dentro. Algo hay. Tengo que sacar eso de alguna manera. Y pero, si hubiera aquí una puerta o algo. Aquí no hay nada. Ah, válvula. Uy, pero qué... Haciendo así, ahora, ahora parece... Eh, ahora sí, vale. Giramos, vaciamos la cámara y recogemos lo que hay adentro. Trozo de tela. This looks like the sleeve of a worker's uniform. There are two initials, M and S. And instead, all... Vale, se lo vamos a enseñar al capataz. A ver si hay algún trabajador con esas iniciales. I found this ripped off sleeve. I see. So? The suspect said something about an accident. A machine almost ripped his arm out. Go on. Isn't that enough? Someone wants to destroy the algae research and you sit on your arse and twiddle your thumbs. Ah, that's how the land lies. But... But I was talking about it the whole time. You never mentioned the algae research. That casts a whole new light on the case. Elementary, my dear. An evil energy mogul got scared. Svensson's Miracle Algae pushes onto the market and threatens to put all the power plants in the world out of business. So what's he gonna do about it? He plants a bomb to destroy the whole research on the algae. Well, finally. Now you understand. Oh, come on. You're not serious, are you? The algae may be nice, but it's miles away from convincing anyone. It did convince the investors. Because Ben Svensson manipulated the presentation. He did what? ¿Dónde estamos? Ah, en la granja de algas ahora mismo. Now I'm directly above the Delta LG station. Let's see how this accident happened. Lo único que tenemos son los controles de, de la grúa. Pues vamos a subir la grúa. Buena explosión, ¿eh? I think I can make out something at the other end of the pipe, but it's too far away for me to reach. A ver, ¿qué tenemos? Tenemos el indicador este que podemos a ver I si llega. I can reach the end of the pipe with this pointer, but I can't fish anything out with it. Vale, eh, podemos usar la manopla. I wonder if this will work as well as the bottle opener. Let's just try it. A bottle cap. Hmm. A metal cap. Maybe it came off of some chemical container. The cap has a biting chemical smell. I remember smelling something like this before, but where? Filtro de algas. Vamos a ver. No queda ninguna dentro, ¿no? It smells of a lot of things. If I want to detect anything specific, I should get a sample to the lab. 
The whole filter is much too big to transport. Eh, con el cuchillo podemos recortar un trocito. Some cork out of the filter. Vale, yo creo que con esto, a no ser que haya algo más. No. Yo creo que con esto tenemos que volver al laboratorio. Vale, y examinar el corcho. Vale, tenemos que ponerlo quizá en el, en el espectrómetro de masa. Sí. Ok, let's go. Aha, the instrument found fire accelerant. So the fire was just an accident, huh? If I can find fire accelerant on something else, I might be able to reconstruct the events leading to the fire. But where should I look for it? El tapón, no sé si... No, the no. bottle cap is too... Demasiado grande. The bottle cap is made of metal. I can't. No se puede cortar en trozos. A ver, y la toalla. My life might have become a silly sign. Tenemos que a ver la bata. Just a second. The right sleeve smells just like the bottle cap from the algae farm, but I have to do some more tests before I can be sure. Mm, vale. Con el cuchillo podemos recortar un Ah, no, ya lo tenemos recortado. Pues vamos a analizarlo también para comparar. Are you still wandering around the place? How did you manage to survive without your precious algae all those years? Duva, enough! I'm free to do that. So I will. If your own father is snooping around your private business and embarrasses you in front of Norway's greatest tattletale, you are free to do that. What do you want from me anyway? I want to talk to you. About what? About me being gay? Is that it? Or do you only want to talk about... Yes, I want to talk to you about the algae. I knew it. What else could it be? You hate the algae. You could say so. Was that why you sabotaged the research? Bent, that's enough. Let him say it, Lissa. I think this is going to be interesting. What did you find out? I know you want to get away from here really bad. I know that our best algae culture was destroyed two weeks ago, right before the talks with the investors began. And I know it wasn't an accident. It was an accident. No, it wasn't. I found fire accelerant in the algae station. The fire was intentional. And you think it was me? I found the same substance on my old lab coat, the one Duva is wearing from time to time. Go on. Did you set the fire? <laughs> You did. <laughs> Your mother would turn in her grave. You two stop it right now. None of this is true. 
No! <laughs> that's... <laughs> that's why it's so... <laughs> hilarious! <laughs> it's... It's not true. <laughs> it, it really was just an accident. And you think I... <laughs> <laughs> What's this game you are playing? Bent, he's right. The fire accelerant was ethyl alcohol. We cleaned the station with it after the fire. <laughs> I'm just like you. I never think of myself. Never. I hate my work here, but still I hang on to it. I think that's over now. Please leave us for a moment, Bent. I'll talk to him. Vale, y ahora que... Ah, mira. Faye. Let's get out of here. I was wrong. There isn't a conspiracy. But there is. Someone placed a bomb on the H2 tower. What? How? We don't have much time. Follow me. Vale, la torre de hidrógeno. Tenemos que descubrir el saboteador. Oh my god, you were right. Don't stand around gawking. Get that guy. I will find a way to deactivate this infernal bomb somehow. I'll get him. Climbing over them is too dangerous. I have to go around them. Rodearlo, por donde? Por aquí. <gasps> what? Where did he go? Ah, uh. ahí está. Get off my back! No one would have gotten hurt if you hadn't. Ah! Uh. Okay, keep uh, going. Puzzle. No wires for me to cut, but the saboteur scratched some numbers on it. Maybe I can interrupt the ignition process if I bypass the bomb's contacts until the digital numbers match the numbers he scratched on. It's a bit risky, but I don't really have another choice. Vale, a ver. Estos son ceros y estos son unos. No tengo muy claro qué hay que hacer. ¿Se puede poner uno aquí? Sí.
Esto resta 2 y le puedo sumar 1. Vale. Vale, este, tiene, este tenemos cero. Aquí hay un 1. No, este no. Aquí tenemos un 2. Este 0 está bien. Este 2 está bien. Este 3 está bien. Aquí tenemos que sumarle 1. Que el único sitio donde podemos sumarle es aquí. Pero claro, le sumamos uno en este. Vale. Pero le hemos vuelto a sumar aquí dos. La parte superior está bien. Este está bien ahora. Pero este no, este uno está mal. Estos dos están bien ahora, pero tenemos mal aquí y aquí. No, no podemos... No se suma nada. No, tampoco. Y estoy cerca. Vale, este está bien. Tenemos este está bien, este está bien. Toda estos no. Aquí hay que restarle. Hmm. 
Vale, está mal. Esta zona es la que me faltaría. A ver si conseguimos... A ver, restarle aquí. No. Claro, si le quito este, afecta a este también. No, este le suma. Ahí estamos. Let go. Damn it. Let go already. Let me climb back up. Then I'll give you a hand. Are you nuts? Damn it. What are you doing? Saving both of us Ugh. now you they ah! <sighs> the algae fields the algae fields are burning